We are going to um, Nishan and Suhela Spice's home at 2575 Donegal Avenue in South San Francisco. Mm -hmm. They are the investors or speculators that purchased the Marcus, um, Marcus Bookstore property at 1712 Fillmore Avenue. Marcus Bookstore is a longtime business in the Fillmore. It's actually more of an institution than a business. The Johnsons and the Richardsons have um, have ran that bookstore for, I would say, about four decades. So we're just trying to encourage folks to be aware of the fact of the atrocity that's taking place in the, in the San Francisco community, and the, the out-migration of black folks, the loss of businesses, and to get the, the Swice family to stop swiping. And really, as, as as religious people to remember the words of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who said it's more blessed to give than to steal. I mean to receive that which that does not really belong to you. This store belongs to the community. When you take a community and you deny them the right and the access to books and reading, then you have to devastate and destroy that community. Recently they had to file for bankruptcy because of some financial family issues and they were given 60 days to raise the money. They raised the money in 65 days, but these investors went ahead and bought it at um, whatever court auction there was. After that, um, another community group called Westside Community Services um, offered um, to purchase the property, um, you know, and preserve it and also keep the bookstore and the Johnsons on the property. And they made an offer which was $50,000 more than what the Swices paid for it. And the Swices rejected that offer and said we want double the purchase price. And these investors are just an example of like many speculators that we have coming into San Francisco and all over the Bay Area that really don't give a shit about what's happening in our neighborhoods or the impact they're making. They're just really looking to make, you know, a quick buck. Right. And, you know, and they're displacing, you know, hundreds, if not thousands, in the next, like, couple months of residents who have really made the city what it is. You can't wait for the city or the government to do something because they haven't done anything. We're, like, six years into this crisis. And what, what do we have to show for us? You know, we, we shell out trillions of dollars to the banks. If people had secure housing, then, you know, maybe they can actually secure some jobs. And even beyond that, they'll be able to, like, contribute back to the economy because it's not the banks that are going to, make you know, make this economy. It's going to be, be the workforce. Like you, you don't see the court or the city stepping up to do this, so it's really going to be up to the residents and the people in this community who want to stay here to fight back. We're done defending our homes. We're coming to yours. Um, think, you know, if we can't go home, if we can't be comfortable in our own homes, why should they?